So I've got a new camera, the Canon EOS M50. And it's a massive upgrade from the old Canon EOS M's that I have. I have two of those, and I use those mainly behind the camera uh, for shooting banjo under the bridge and other things. Uh, not so good at using it by yourself because it has no way of monitoring the picture. Now, the M50 is awesome, has a great autofocus uh, system, and uh, from what I've heard, the actual built-in mics work pretty well as well. So I'm going on a big trip overseas and I wanted to see if I should bring an external microphone or whether the inbuilt mics were pretty good. So I have a Rode VideoMic Pro I now own and uh, I'm going to trial what that sounds like. And I've also, uh, just for an audio comparison, got my uh, Zoom SGH6, which is the shotgun attachment for Zoom recorders. So I use the Q8 and I've got an extension cable that runs from the top of the camera back down to the recorder itself. So I want to see indoors and outdoors the difference between inbuilt, uh, the Rode VideoMic Pro and the Zoom as far as quality goes and figure out which one will work best for me. So as you can see this is the Canon with the Zoom uh, SGH6 attachment onto it and as far as form goes it's a little bit uh, cumbersome and then you've got the extension cable down here going into uh, the Q8 here. Uh, the advantage of this is uh, really good audio, lots of control, and you can obviously set the audio up a long way away. And we use this to record banjo under the bridge videos uh, from quite a distance away. But uh, obviously, when you compare it to a video mic pro, which just sits on top, uh, it's a portable sound straight in. So this is in a room inside uh, with the built-in microphones and uh, I'm holding the camera out and so we're about uh, 50 centimeters from my mouth. So that's the built-in microphone. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro at um, 0 dB, uh, no boost, no cut and uh, flat, so no bass cut. So this is the Rode VideoMic Pro. Let's have a listen to what uh, it sounds like with the bass cut on. So this is the Rode VideoMic Pro with the bass cut on at 0 dB. So no cut and no boost in audio levels. Um, let's see what it sounds like compared uh, to the others. All right, so this is the Zoom SGH6, which is the uh, shotgun attachment for the Zoom recorder. And I've got mine going into a Q8. Uh, I've set the gain for this manually and uh, it's sitting on top of my camera uh, mounted just in the same position that the Rode VideoMic Pro was. The difference is between this and the VideoMic Pro is that I can actually angle this up and down uh, on top. Uh, so we'll see what this sounds like compared to the VideoMic Pro and the inbuilt microphone. And finally, here we are with the uh, inbuilt microphone outside, uh, seeing what it sounds like seeing if you can actually use this without any external microphones practically and uh, this is what it's like outside now there's not much wind uh, coming through and it's a beautiful day here in Tasmania and uh, hopefully this is coming through all right really enjoying using this camera the autofocus is fantastic all right uh, this is the Rode VideoMic Pro just uh, without the windsock the built-in windsock on and we're outside again same distance as we were before and uh, just testing to see what the sound is like I'm gonna put the uh, dead cat on there now and see what that sounds like all right now we're outside uh, dead cat is on the Rode VideoMic Pro seeing what that sounds like uh, same distance as before uh, we're seeing if that dead cat windsock makes any difference whatsoever with the sound all right, now this is outside uh, with the Zoom SGH6 uh, with its uh, dead cat fluffy windsock on and uh, holding it at arm's distance uh, to me. We'll see what that sounds like compared to the Rode VideoMic Pro. So, in conclusion, what do we find? Well, I think that the internal sound in this camera is fantastic. I think it's better than the Rode and I think it's clearer than the Rode. The Rode to me sounds like you're talking uh, through a toilet roll. Uh, it's got this weird um, EQ to it. But uh, outside, these microphones pick up wind. So the internal ones are good for inside stuff, but maybe not outside stuff. So if I have to travel around outside, I'm gonna choose the Rode.
Uh, and if I'm going to do something set up where I'm um, doing it um, a lot of, uh, I guess a wide field of sound, I'll use my Zoom because I have different mics that I can use for that. Uh, let's see what you think.